Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phantom A, and in this video, I'm going to teach you all about Golden Seedlings and how to hunt them down. Golden Seedlings can be found as early as Chapter 2. They are very rare and very quick to flee, and if they do flee, you get absolutely no rewards for finishing the fight. Fortunately for you, however, no matter what difficulty or rules you play by, unless you're limiting how many bugs you can use in battle, you are guaranteed to be able to KO at least one Golden Seedling. The first thing you need to know is that if you taunt with Kabu, they will not run away for that turn. So if you're playing in either normal or hard mode, and you have Kabu taunt at the end of the turn after all three bugs attack, the Golden Seedling will attack Kabu and very likely KO him, but it will never run away. From there, even if Kabu gets knocked out, you can very easily KO the Golden Seedling with both Leaf and V. This will let you a Tangy Berry, as well as potentially lots of berries for spending. Now on both normal and hard mode, this is possible as early as the beginning of Chapter 2, but on hardest mode, you must beat Venus Guardian and get Spiky Bob before this is guaranteed. This is because Golden Seedlings on hardest mode have 6 HP, over 5 on hard mode, and 4 on normal. 3 damage from each bug, plus 1 from Spiky Bod, and then 2 more attacks from both Leaf and V will be enough to KO. Before that, you're at the mercy of RNG, which you don't want to put up with. If you find the Golden Seedling encounter, however, and you're not properly equipped to fight it yet, don't fret, you can still take it out without any problems. Just run away, rearrange your medals, go back into the fight, and go to town. Not only will the Golden Seedling not disappear, but if there are other ordinary seedlings in that encounter, they may also become Golden Seedlings upon re-entry. And you don't just get one Tangy Berry from the battle, you can get as many Tangy Berries as Golden Seedlings spawn in the fight. But you might be asking, how am I going to deal with multiple Golden Seedlings? Let me tell you. Golden Seedlings have a unique defensive property. Any attack you use against them will only ever do one damage. And in the case of moves that hit multiple times, like V's Tornado Toss, only the first hit will do damage, with the other hits doing absolutely nothing. There are some exceptions to this, some good, some bad. For example, one is bad with Kabu's Understrike. For some reason, neither of Kabu's Understrike hits will do any damage to Golden Seedlings. However, when it comes on the moves like V's Needle Moves, like Needle Toss and Needle Pincer, each individual hit will deal damage to Golden Seedlings. But unquestionably, your best move to combat Golden Seedlings is Leaf's Ice Rain. This move not only can hit multiple times, but each individual hit can also hit multiple enemies. Just be aware though that they cannot be frozen, though they can be put to sleep by numbnail darts. Now if you don't have access to Ice Rain yet, but you at least have access to Bubble Shield Light, your best bet is to Tom with Kabu while he has Spiky Bot equipped. Protect it with Leaf's Bubble Shield Light, and have Kabu block to chip them down while also using V to help accelerate the process and then using Leaf to finish them all off with Ice Fall. Now of course, all this information is only if you were to just somehow stumble on where a Golden Ceiling is as you're playing through the main story. But what if you wanted to grind on Golden Ceilings? Well, no doubt, EXP Booster, Hard Hit, Ceiling Affinity, and Berry Finder are very worthwhile to get. Especially Ceiling Affinity, as that metal actually makes Golden Ceilings more common to find. Now, Golden Ceilings do not appear in the overworld, but just about any member of the Ceiling family can be a Golden Ceiling in the middle of battle. From Ceilings, to Acorlings, to Cactlings, to Flowerlings, to Underlings, even Plumplings. But the absolute best place to grind for Golden Seedlings is undoubtedly in the Seedling King's former lair, the Seedling Haven. This area at the earliest can only be accessed in Chapter 4 when Leaf has Ice Rain. Before here, your best bet is the area between the Explorers Association and the caves leading to Golden Settlements. In this area, Golden Seedlings appear like 7 times as often, so it's a very good idea to grind here if you really want Golden Seedlings to appear. Of course, you do have to beat the Seedling King first before you can use this area, but let me give you some confidence. As lackluster a gamer I am, I was able to beat the Seedling King using only one member of Team Snake Mouth against him thrice now, once with each and every member of Team Snake Mouth. So if you need any inspiration, watch one of my videos where I try fighting the Seedling King using only one bug. All those fights will be in the cards in the tie right corner of the screen of this video, so check those out after this video is over. Once the Seedling King is dealt with, this area is all yours to keep. If you want to grind berries or exploration points, this is the best place to do it. As always, I hope this video helped you. If you want more tips and tricks for Bug Fables the Everlasting Sapling, remember to subscribe down below, and thank you for watching.